Welcome to your Daily Five for Tuesday, August 1st, 2023. I went from Twisted Metal, a very lightweight but very fun series, and moved straight to the third film in the Peter Sulkin, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, tetralogy, titled obi Oba, The End of Civilization. Now, I've already reviewed Gollum and War of the Worlds Next Century, which I loved as films, and I will tell you now, this third film, uh, this is the best, uh, I'll probably say this when I review it a bunch of times, This is, without a doubt, the best blind movie set purchase I've ever made. I've bought some movies sight unseen, and I've had fun with a lot of them, and I've also been disappointed by a few. But this one has unquestionably been the best investment in movies that I really knew nothing about and bought four movies knowing really nothing and have enjoyed every single one of them immensely. And OB Oba, The End of Civilization, is no different. It, it continues as I was anticipating because this filmmaker made four movies in a very short amount of time. And the fact that the first one and then the second one were so good, I have had confidence that each of the other two movies was also going to be good. Well, now it's three out of four. Now, the fourth one could be terrible. Even if it is, even if somehow the fourth movie, which will be probably my next review uh, for the next show, even if that movie is awful, it still will have been worth buying this set just for these three movies, which I absolutely love. And ob I'm not going to do the entire title, so I'll just call it ob is yet again another wonderful, allegorical, metaphorical, deeply politically themed movie that has this wonderful sense about it. This visual identity that is is still good. It's improving. It's It's... I, I I cannot just gush enough about these movies. I cannot believe that these movies are not better known because there is something that is so engrossing and engaging about the way these stories are told. And they're simple. This movie, I don't even think is 90 minutes. I think it's 87 or 88 minutes long. And it's, it's largely contained. The basic story is after a nuclear war, some remnants of a group of people in some country, which is never specified, all live under this big concrete dome that was hastily erected to shield them from the radioactive fallout. And we follow a character who is part of what I guess you would call the ruling class of this dome because they're never specifically referred to as a government. They don't seem to be police. They don't seem to be an official body of any kind. They almost seem like a group, uh, a small subset of people who were told, okay, we need you to keep an eye on the rest of these people until we can figure out what we can do to get them out of this dome. And that's the entirety of the movie, is within this dome, following this one character who appears to have some type of psychological training and is one of the valued members of this elite group of people who kind of goes around, tries to find out what's going on in the dome in terms of political unrest, to kind of solve some problems... And also, over the course of the film, increasingly decides that he does not want to be part of the masses that are living in this dome because they're not really living in the dome. They are simply existing. In fact, most of the people that we see outside of a small group of characters literally just spend their time standing in the center of the dome underneath a big chute that dispenses some kind of food to them. And they just stand there and don't do anything. And in fact, there is a concern among the the higher people that these that these individuals are just going to start dying of literal boredom and stagnation because they're not doing anything because there's nothing for them to do. They've been put in a place to literally just survive for what reason we're never really told. You would assume maybe to keep the species going. I guess it could be that. But most of them don't even really live. They just kind of stand literally swaying back and forth all day and all night as nothing happens around them. And we never get outside the dome So we don't ever see there's no light coming in. There are no jobs for these people to do in most cases. The jobs and the duties of maintaining the dome seem to be performed by a very small subset of people. And the movie is about this character whose name is Soft and his kind of realization that this is not something that is sustainable. That there has to be some escape. There has to be some change. And his, his, his quest to try to find what that thing is, if not for everybody, then at least for himself and the woman that he loves. And that's the movie. I'll get into it far more on Friday because there's a lot to interpret about it too. But again, I cannot recommend these movies highly enough if you like heavier stuff. It's definitely not lightweight stuff. But so far, ob Oba, like the movies before it, has been exceptional. And I am thrilled that I get to talk about it on Friday. Later.